Hey everybody, uh, I am making this video to give my thoughts on uh, the fight that occurred at the end of the Texas race, the Texas Cup race that happened just a few hours ago. Um, personally, I had to wait a few, I had to wait a few hours to actually see what happened. I was watching the race. Um, but I had to go back to work, um, but whenever, uh, like, right before it ended, so, thankfully I missed seeing Jimmy Johnson win, and, uh, apparently there was a fight between, uh, Jeff Gordon and Brad Keselowski, and, uh, everybody's wanting to point fingers at Brad, uh, especially all the Jeff Gordon fans, but, uh, really, I, I watched the replay of that. Brad didn't really do anything wrong. He was just trying to race for the win. And I know in that one restart, uh, Jeff Jeff looked like he was uh, going to win the race. But uh, I guess there was contact between him and Brad that uh, forced him. I guess something happened to his, his tire or something. And it, really, and it pretty much ruined his race. Because uh, that one restart was with like, it was one of the green white checkers and it and it really screwed him up but uh personally I don't think that it was Brad's fault this time I think uh this time it was just Jeff um Gordon overreacting and uh just in the heat of the moment he uh went over there to confront Brad and uh And then a big fight ensued on the on pit road, but it didn't really happen until. But the big fight didn't happen until Kevin Harvick, you know my favorite driver. Um, for those who don't get my sarcasm, he's my least favorite driver, and I want to punch him in the face, especially after what he pulled. He admits that he started the fight by pushing Brad Keselowski, which caused Jeff Gordon to get angry and. They both started fighting, and the pit the pit crew guys got in on it, and uh, it was just a mess. I can't believe anybody got out of there a lot. I can't believe that there's like anybody who didn't get like severely injured in that because it, it looked pretty bad. And there's going to be penalties. Uh, I, I NASCAR has said that there's going to be penalties for that. So, but yeah, um, this time I don't think Brad was in the wrong. Uh, People are probably going to disagree with me, but uh, I just think that Jeff Gordon was just too fired up, and he shouldn't have. Of course, he, you know Jeff Gordon, he's always going to go confront whoever messes him up, and uh, he did it, and uh, it, it just caused a lot of chaos. I mean, it wasn't all Jeff Gordon's fault, that fight that happened. Because it was Kevin Harvick, he was the instigator, as he always is. He's a big fat punk, and I can't stand that mother trucker, a son of a bee. Uh, <laughs> excuse my French. <laughs> but yeah, that's my opinion on that. Uh, race overall sucked. The only good part about the race, other than... Uh, well, there, there's only one part of the race that I thought was good was whenever Kyle Busch, and, and you, know, you know I'm a Kyle Busch fan, so seeing Kyle Busch come back, um, almost like Casey did at Atlanta, um, it would have been great if Kyle would have won the race, but uh, oh well, at least he got a top five, which was better than what he had been running all day, I expected Kyle to be running up front, because he won the nationwide in a truck race. Really wanted to see Kyle get that triple again uh, at this time at Texas, but he has he already, he got the win last year at Texas, so uh, at least he can say that he he's won at that track in the Cup race. But still, uh, I I kind of wanted to see Kyle Busch win it. Casey had a rough race. He should have he should have had a way better race than he did, but. Uh, he had problems late in the race. Uh, I feel sorry for Casey. This year has been crap for him, and he had he doesn't 
deserve any any of this bull crap that he's had to put up with this season. Uh, at least Casey got a win, though. So that's one positive thing to say about it. But anyway, that's my thoughts. Um, Kevin Harvick's a punk.